thus taking vitamin B12 give you energy. Hello everyone, if you are looking for exclusive deals, some blogs, educational content every week delivered to your email, subscribe to our newsletter at sugarmds.com right now. Well, vitamin B12, also known as cobalamin, is a vitamin that is water-soluble and plays an important function in generation of red blood cells and cell metabolism and neuronal function and DNA and so forth. Why would it not, right? Well, vitamin B12 can be a very confusing topic. It plays a role in everything. It's a coenzyme that processes the protein and fat metabolism to into energy and so forth. But does it really have the potential to boost energy? In order to provide an appropriate response to this, I think we will now have to discuss the various sources from which you can actually obtain this vitamin as well as the optimal dosage for optimal health. And if you're still deficient, if you think you're still deficient, you may consider using it. Now, there is a large variety of animal products that I include that will have B12. That includes your meat, your fish, your poultry, your eggs, milk, yogurt, cheese, and some fortified cereals, which I don't recommend for my diabetic patients. Now, the suggested use for vitamin B12 that your body needs is basically changes as you move through the stages of your life. So, for example, the majority of adolescents and adults have a daily need of 2.4 micrograms, although greater amounts are indicated, for example, for women who are pregnant or breastfeeding. People who are vegetarian or vegan, uh, if they're exclusively vegan or exclusively breastfed infants, some vegan women, older adults, people with uh, gastrointestinal problems, if you have had a gastrointestinal surgery, if you have an autoimmune condition such as a pernicious anemia, yes, then you are going to be at much higher risk for B12 deficiency. Now, other populations at high risk of vitamin B12 deficiency include those people who have pernicious anemia. That's the most common reason, typically. Now, the diet most people in the United States basically eat have sufficient amount of B12 on a daily basis. And people can be treated for vitamin B12 deficiency, you know, sometimes with oral medications or intramuscular or sub-Q injections of B12. And you can imagine and you probably know that intramuscular injections are a more common form of treatment. It is important to note that people who can take significant amounts of vitamin B12 supplements, they seldom experience negative side effects unless they really overdo it. Now, on the other hand, there is really not a lot of data to suggest that it's actually beneficial for those who are not already vitamin B12 deficient. So, namely, you know, if you take B12 without being vitamin deficient, it's not going to help you much because your body actually stores the B12, and as you need, your body will take it from the stores. Now, energy shots and drinks that contain B12, for example, some energy drinks out there, some energy shots on the market, now boast about their high dose of B vitamins and stuff like that, but they claim that you will feel more energized because there is some B12 in it, you know. That is uh, kind of a total BS, right? So according to one of the manufacturer website of energy shots, you know, they call this a great stimulator for, for hours. That's not because of vitamin B12, right? So vitamin B12 is a bystander or vitamin B6 is a bystander, but they put there like two to 3,000% of what you really need. Uh, so as a result, you know, that may actually harm you more than actually help you. Now, consumers who consume these beverages might experience an increase in their energy levels due to the presence of the caffeine and taurin and stuff like that there, but that's not going to be as a result of B vitamins. Now, if you are already B deficient, for example, you're on metformin, you have been on metformin for a long time, or you're B12 deficient overall, yes, you may definitely get benefit from those. But the amount of caffeine that is found in those energy drinks and some B12 supplementations and stuff like that, you have to be careful what else do they have in those B12 uh, mixes. If you're taking a lot of caffeine, that can actually lead to blood pressure elevation. It can get your heart you know, beat faster. It can even cause some nausea and vomiting as well, some nervousness and so forth. So if you're concerned about your low level of energy, you should really be informed that unless 
you suffer from B12 deficiency, there is really not a whole lot of evidence to support the notion that taking large doses of B12 will increase your energy levels. Now, if your doctor check your B12 levels and your B12 levels are already low, yes, do whatever you need to do to get your B12 up because it's extremely important and side effects can be very, very concerning. I hope that helped you guys. And if it did, please subscribe, share, and like this video. And remember to subscribe to our newsletter on our website at sugarmds.com. Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.